my love. I want you back. <laughs> After all the regrets that you said I will live with, you want me to take you back. No, I don't need you anymore. My love, what, what did I really do wrong? What did I do? I mean, you used to tell me that I'm the sweetest woman in the world. You treated me in ways that men out there never treated their women. What is it? What have I done that have made you despise me so much? What? Give me children. Is that too much to ask? I love children. That is all I ask children of you. Children are gifts from God. Don't you get it? They come at their own time. Listen, my love, we, we just need to keep living together. You know, continue to do things that all the I husband and wife do. Hold it right there. We are no longer husband and wife. That ended when you left this house. I am still your wife. No, you are not. You married me in a proper way. You married me in a way that a woman ought to be married to. So I am still your wife. Leave me. I cannot leave you. Because I am the wife of the prince. So I cannot just live like that. And I am the prince. I said I have no wife. I have no wife. I cannot believe you are saying this. Because that is the right thing to do. That's why I'm asking you to do it. The king will kill me right where I stand if I present myself to him. The king will not kill you. Your words just confirmed you don't know Eze Nakeni. That man is a beast. A monster. A blood sucker and a... Sorry. And a demon. You trust me, right? Can you trust me again? <laughs> On this very one, no. Why? What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, why? I just told you the king will kill me. You are still asking me why. But I just told you I will make sure he will not harm you. Okay? Can we please talk about something else? My love. Can you listen to me? Oh, Nick, I said no. No. It's okay. You're okay, stressing me. Sorry. Okay, are you hungry? Yes. All right, let me quickly go to the house and get your food. Okay? Okay. I'll be back.
Are you ready to talk to me about your weakling father? Talk to me! You asked the same question the other day. I answered you. Now you ask again. Do you expect that my answer will be different from the initial answer? And you called me stupid? Well, I am sorry, but yes, your mode of operation is very stupid beneath what is expected of a prince. You were just parading yourself as a man of valor, but you are nothing. Honestly, you need some training. I think I have been very friendly with you. And that is why you have the bravery to talk back at me. The worst you can do is end my life. End it already and stop acting like a man who is not even a man. I am not ready to kill you yet. I will let you feel pain and agony. You will cry for death and it shall be far from you. The more you talk, I see a weakling talking. You are the weakling daughter of your weakling father. I took your father out of his place. I will catch him and cage him and let him face the full rigor of Ilulu, the electric fish. I will annex your kingdom and let your people bow to me. Turn your kingdom into a village. I know what you're planning. To rape me again like you did and inject your poison into me. Do not try it again. Do not. For if you try it again, especially now that I have voiced out, it will be your end. Poison. The worst mistake you ever made was arresting me and raping me. For you made me cry. You shall never experience the cry of any child around you. My prince, there is something about her we are still trying to unmask. Take her to the cage. He raped me last night. He raped away his existence and his future. You thought you were the captor, but you are the captive. He will remain inside the box of regret and defeat. I shall be the only one that will... He's fine. That means he's safe. Very safe. <sighs> Thank the gods. Um, did he tell you why the youths are looking for him? Yes, Papa. 
What did he tell you? Papa, he interfered in the affairs of the youths. How do you mean? Papa, he fought the youths that were sent to grab King of Izama, thereby helping King and his family to escape from our fights. Is he mad? How could he do such a thing? Did he not know that he was supposed to fight side by side with our youths and help secure victory for our people? Papa, I blame him for his action too. He has to come out from hiding, go to the palace and apologize to the king. Exactly what I told him, Papa. And what did he say? He said no, but I will make sure he comes out to apologize to the king. Better, better. Okay, Papa. He said he's hungry. I came to carry food to him. Uh -huh. yes, There's some cooked food. Collect some and we'll give it. Okay, Papa. Oh, Mwaka. You, you cannot kill me before my time. Where did they take you to? I should have listened to you and refused to go take a bath. You're a lady, my dear. And I am a man. I can stay here for a month without a bath. You cannot. And that is why I allow you to go with them. He had other plans. He raped me. What? Who? The prince. The prince raped a maiden in custody? Ah, that's an abomination. I mean, the gods will not allow them to get away with this. Which gods? The ones that have abandoned us or forgotten us? Do not talk like that against the gods, my princess. Divinities and deities are not mortal. And long suffering is one attribute they have in common. If the gods are with us, they will not allow such punishment come upon us. My dear, whatever that is happening now is for a reason. And I believe that we shall live to understand it.
send this bandit to her. Don't yes. worry about that. Why? I know where she is, and I will bring her back. Where is she? Your Majesty, the people of Umuaganigwe took her hostage, and I know where they are keeping her. Then we are coming with you. Exactly. It is going to be dangerous for you to go alone. We'll go together. If you insist. You people claim this place. Your Majesty, I did that personally. I discovered that there will be no need for us to go search for a king in the palace, okay? Obim, where are you? I'm here. What did you put? Obim. So, you are the one that is hiding him from us. How did you get here? The question is, where is he? Who? Nabife. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you should know what I'm talking about. If you know wherever he is around, bring him out now. So that what will happen? Because he's a wanted man. The king is looking for him. And I've been asked to smoke him out wherever he is. Yes, but I'm not bringing him out. Then, you leave me with no option than to report you to the king. And of course, you know what the punishment is all about. Reporting me to the king will be the worst mistake of your life. On the contrary, reporting you to the king will earn me more respect and honor among the youths of this kingdom. Since it has gotten to us reporting ourselves, I will report you to the prince. I will tell him that you'll be sleeping with Olaku, which contributed to her childlessness. What did you just say? Bring him out. Yes, my prince. How else am I going to explain it to you, for you to understand it, that I do not know where he is? I do not believe you. What you believe is not more important than the truth. Therefore, it is inconsequential. You want it the hard way. You want it the forceful way. So be it. Torture him! <laughs> Who told you about my involvement with Olak? Are you surprised? Yeah, I'm surprised because uh, no one, no man or woman ever knows about my secret with her. It's not just the past. You are still seeing her. In fact, she was with you last night. <sighs> Neka, you're making this up. Trust me, you're making it up. The thing is that you don't know me. Were you not with her last night? Yes, I was with her, but I didn't do anything. Because she was in her circle. If not, you would have had something to do with her. <sighs> Neka, you're a witch. <laughs> no. The thing is that I have placed myself where I get all the information I need. So forget about this chess. If not, I will tell the prince everything about you. You may leave. Look, Neka, make sure you don't tell anybody this. You know what it means. Hmm. Uh, where's Nabi Fen? Eh? Where is he? Where did he go to? Uh, 
Where have you been? That was the top secret. Where have you been? I've been around. Enjoy your conversation with the fool. Story for another day. How are you? Uh, I'm well. Ah, it's still hot. Sorry. So the animal has been sleeping with the prince's wife? Yes. So why didn't you tell the prince about it? I don't want to spoil the prince's marriage. But you know that is capable of destroying the prince. Yes, I know. But the good thing is that the prince has chest all out. Come and eat your food. Sorry. <sighs> Yeah. 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 Tell them to stop! stop it. Hey, they will wound him! He will not stop until he tells us where your father is. But he has already said he does not know the whereabouts of the king. I do not believe him. Do you know where your father is? Why do you find it so difficult to believe the truth? Ow. You, you regret this! Ow. Ow. You and your father refuse to acknowledge the gods. You killed an ambassador of peace, bearing the sacred leaf of Ogilisi. As if that was not enough, you raped the princess of Eziama kingdom. You will cry out for help and no one will hear you. Shut up! Stop talking to me about your gods. I am mightier than any god. Shut up! Otherwise, I will cut off your tongue. You can do nothing, you classless son of a classless king! Your evil has made you think that you are a god. You will be exposed to the gods and you will swallow your own words. I raped you in secret. Now you want to tell everybody what I did? Let me do it right here, right now. Bring her out! The prince has gone with him! Welcome to Ajaniuku of Asia Market. Did you see what I just saw? What? Something just descended from from the sky into Ajaniuku. Uti, can you be serious for once? I know what I just saw. What do we make of this now? We cannot approach Ajaniuku when we are not prepared. This is an emergency situation. Let us go and find out what it is. Some rules can be exempted in this situation. That's impossible. Moments ago, I was in my kingdom. Why am I here? How come? That's exactly what the gods of Isyama kingdom can do. You better undo whatever you have done 
before I kill you here! You no longer possess such power, my young prince. You think this is some kind of a joke, right? <laughs> Our enemy! Hold your sword, Hoti. <laughs> He ordered his people to the security of our land. They, and they left our kingdom in ruins. This man left our kingdom in this condition. That is not all. Could you believe that he raped the princess? Anyway, vengeance is of the gods of Asia Market. I heard that. He raped our princess? What? Bring him to the king's palace. And make sure no harm befalls him. You, because Prince, our princess was red. No, 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 now you move. Oh, and those may have forgiven you. The royal hands equal. May forgive you. But we, the youth of Ezeama Kingdom, we never, 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 never forgive you for this shameful act you have done to our kingdom. Move. Bring him along. Move. Now move. Dr. May, what happened? There was an invasion from the sky, Your Majesty. Even the princess was speaking from inside the cage, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, the princess said that the gods are punishing us for killing the ambassador of peace who was holding the sacred of grace leave. Then she cursed the prince for raping her. The prince raped her? Your Majesty, the prince was about to rape her again before the invasion took place. Now go and get Chijindu here. Your Majesty, that is the problem. The prince is missing. How? We were torturing the male prisoner so as to know the whereabouts of the king before the roaring from the sky happened. And the princess started cursing our land and the prince. And before we could know what was happening, the man of the gods of Ezeama disappeared with the prince. Where is the princess? She is still in her cage, Your Majesty. They will never allow anything to happen to the princess. See, if this is a good one, you have to approach the king of Omo by yourself. Never. I will never have anything to do with a man who undermines the gods. Never. My jewel is still alive. Mother. How are you? Father, very well. Greetings, Your Majesty. Onyendozi, where have you been? In the cage with the princess. What are you to understand? How? What? You! Evil man! What do you mean by that? Did he hurt you in any way? Father, he did not only hurt me, he raped me! What? Lower your sword! Lower your sword! The gods of Aziama are, are already on top of this situation. Let us give them the chance to complete what they have started. You will never get away with this. Your Majesty. That is the peg of the ancient masquerade. 
the shocking waves that protects my land. It cannot depart from my land. Why is it here? You are a fool to educate me on the peck of Mawelulu of Umo Ganigwe. I came face to face with Obwefio Ganigwe, who asked me to approve this and give same to the rooted king of Iziama. That is the sacred instrument of my land. It cannot be with anyone. No! How dare you stand before my king to defend the sacredness of your kingdom? You kill a man who was bearing the sacred leaves. Say one more word about sacredness and I will kill you here. Obi, so many things are beginning to register in my head. I am now beginning to understand what is going on. Free him. Free him! This must be an invasion for real. Whoever has taken the dreaded peg of Manuelulu must be a different species of the human. Gods of my fathers. Let this peg not get into the wrong hands. The fool who has taken it does not know what he has. Cause him to drop it where we can find it. The boy if you're gonna go is the boy, the great progenitor of Umaganigwe. Rise! And find your peg. Okurundu. Renduzi. I trust you to take good care of the prisoner. Obi is a descendant of the rested Isato Masquerade. He has this propensity of getting annoyed at any time. Try to control him. I understand, Oyunduzi. I will do my best. Good. Good. Uh, let me go home, freshen up, and take good food. Mm. I'll be back in the evening. It's okay, Rindozi. You take good care of yourself. I thank you very thank much. Thank you so much for what you have done for Iziama. Yes, thank you very much for what you are doing yes, for us here. Onye I am not sure I heard you. I am very sure you heard me, Onyeze. You see, the effect of releasing him will be more progressive than killing him. Do you understand what you are saying? We are talking about the son of a greedy man who went out of his way and raped the princess of Eziama kingdom. If not that you prevailed on me, I would have killed him. And now you are asking me to release him? I know you know this, but let me remind you that their progenitor has already given you the soul of Omoaganiwe. That is it, in front of you. He has made you their king. Now, killing somebody who is supposed to be an asset to us, it's not something we will be considering now. Where is that young man as we speak? He's with Okolondo, and I have instructed him not to manhandle him. Well, you know, see, I feel like killing him. I still feel like terminating the life of that fool. For your information, the princess has recanted the curse she placed on him. I am advising that if he can apologize to the princess, let us treat him to a royal banquet 
and allow him to go. And are you are you okay? I don't understand where you are coming from. You want us to treat a rapist to a royal banquet and let him go? How? For the umpteenth time, Onyeze, we have their show right in front of you. So we are supposed to treat them as those whom we have an age over. My princess. My princess. I am sorry for everything I've done against you. I pray you forgive me. I know you can kill me here and now. The sacred peg is in your costly. My kingdom is crippled. My princess, I vow to be a different man. I pray for your forgiveness. You spoke ill of divinities. You dismissed the gods of Eziama as nothing. Finally, you were begging the princess. My princess, I know I have offended you beyond all forgiveness. But I pray you forgive me. If there is a price that I can pay to show that I am grieved for all the things I committed against you and your people, say it. I vow to pay. I already told Onyendozi I have forgiven you. I have also reversed the curse I placed on you. Come with me. Thank you, my princess. I instructed you not to come back here without the elders in council. I went round calling all of them, Your Majesty, but they have refused to come here. Why? They have been warned by Obuefi Oganiwe. What? Your Majesty, we need to retrieve the sacred peg that was stolen from here. The elders said, as long as the sacred peg is not here, Royalty has been uprooted from this family. Which of the elders said that? All of them, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I beg of you. We need to go and apologize to the King of Iziama. So that Royalty will not leave this family for real. And here they come. Hmm. The princess is now in my house. My princess. You're welcome. Sit down. It is a royal banquet. Exactly in line with our custom. Mm -hmm.
message you sent through the guards is very insulting and I demand an apology. You demand an apology in your position as who? As a king of Umoganigwe, I deserve some respect. And further ordered the mother of a peace ambassador bearing the secret of the leaf. Obuefi Oganigwe told us through the Biahafa that you are on your own. What is this conspiracy all about? You are no longer the king. What? I am still the king of Umo Oganigwe. You are just the king of your own compound. A man who can kill an ambassador of peace bearing the leaf of Ogilisi cannot be a king in any kingdom in Igbo land. Ichiyonyeka, are you the one talking to me like this? Ezema of Eziama, who is in custody of the sacred peg, is now the king we know. Come with us to enter a peace accord with him and everything will become fine again. Never! Never! In our culture, a king remains a king until death. And I'm still the king of Umoganigwe. This conspiracy will not work. As long as I remain king, all of you will suffer. You will pay for this. Colonel, Your Majesty, take him back to Umu Oganigwe and hand him over to his father, my very good friend. Make sure no harm befalls him. I will do as you instructed, Your Majesty. Good. Report back to me as soon as you are back from Umu Oganigwe. I will do that, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. I want to thank you for your kind gesture. I'm grateful. And I shall tell my father of the good things of this land. I thank you. My regards to your father. Onyendozi. Two wrongs will never make a right. Um, they are coming back to their senses. And um, all of a sudden you are beginning to sound like me. An advisor can be deemed a great one if only the person he advises can listen to his advice. So I come to say thank you for listening to me. It was indeed a very tough decision that I had to make. I thank the gods I did and now I am seeing the hand of the gods in all of this. Exactly. And greater things are still coming. Can you explain what you mean by that? <laughs> Onyeze, any king who has ruled his people in line with the dictates of his ancestors will never be abandoned by the ancestors. That's the much I can say for now. That is what you have said and I heard you. But can you explain what you mean by that? <laughs> Father! My son. Welcome. Thank you, Father. Confirm to me you were treated in a dehumanizing way and I will set the entire Asia on fire. Father, please calm down. 
I have come to realize, Father, that you do not understand fully the carriage of kings. That is why you behave the way you behave. And that has been the problem of this kingdom, Father. When did you start talking like this? When I met true royalty. Father, I have always lived a lie. And I blame you for this. Why are you blaming me for anything? And who is this you refer to as royalty? Father, despite everything I did to her, I asked for forgiveness and she forgave me. Even the king of Ziyama forgave me. Father, you killed the ambassador of peace and that uprooted royalty from this kingdom. What have you done to my son? You son of a cow! Your Majesty, he came face to face with the truth. Even as a prince, he experienced royalty for the very first time. Then he realized that he was never a prince. Hold it! Are you telling me this useless son of mine went to a classless kingdom to deny his royal oath? Ezema of Ezema is now your king. By the verdict of Uwefio Ganigwe, your majesty, your Umwa Ganigwe has become a village in Ezema. Agree to this, and you leave. And disagree, and you will see the gods. Father! Father! Please! You cannot do that. Don't. I beg the princess for forgiveness. And she forgive me, even when I didn't deserve it. I've also asked her to be my wife. She agreed. Father, please. Are you such a fool? You want to marry a loose woman who you already raped in the cage of Elulu? Are you that stupid? Your Majesty. The princess is not loose. The prince will marry her to reignite the new Umo Ganigwe. And I would ask your majesty, are you ready for this? Never! Never! Father. Eziama people are slaves! Never! Father. Never! Eziama people are slaves! My son cannot marry father! Father. Father! 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 We have heard of the untimely exit of your father, Ezem Nakeni of Umu Ganigwe. Please, accept my condolences. Please, Prince Chijindo, also accept my heartfelt condolences. But I want you to understand one thing. Your kingdom is now an integral part of our land. Your Majesty, I do not have a problem with my kingdom being under your command. Coming in contact with the princess has changed my life entirely. Allow me to continue to be with the princess and I will be satisfied. Royalty or no royalty. The princess is perfect for me, your majesty. Your father was killed by the gods because he was no longer qualified to be the custodian of this sacred peg of Mangwelulu. Today, I am giving it back to you. Thank you, Majesty. Go back to your land with the princess 
and they restored the institution of royalty that was taken away from your family. Like he said, your kingdom is now a part of our kingdom. But I am not interested in having your kingdom to be a part of my kingdom. I want you to go back to your land, restore royalty, and the rule as a king. But let me tell you something, son. As you rule, do not ever undermine the gods. Thank you, Your Majesty. I will do as you say. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Your Majesty. I've seen the light. Everything is clear under the sun. As it rise? Now I've seen the errors of my ways. I realize that I cannot go on this way. I found the true meaning of the world to live again. I believe. Go on this way I found the true meaning of the world